Welcome to the I'm Responding Insider. My name is Steve. We're going to be taking a look today at vehicle tracking and member tracking. As I hope you already know, I'm Responding has a host of premier features. Today's video, we're going to focus on AVL and live tracking. Since you're watching this video, you're on our YouTube page. Please be sure to subscribe. As a subscriber, you'll be notified each time we release a new video. The QR code on the left side will take you directly to our training playlist, the I'm Responding Insider. To use either of I'm Responding's tracking options, you're going to need an Android or iOS mobile device. The big difference between the vehicle tracking and member tracking is the length of time that you can be tracked, the icons themselves, and the color options. If you intend on using I'm Responding's tracking on your mobile device, you do need to make sure that you allow your mobile device and the I'm Responding application access to your location service on your device. On an Apple or Android device, you're going to see this unique icon along the top of your screen anytime that your location service is being used. In the I'm Responding mapping screens, you should see this icon along the top of the screen. If you don't, please be sure to go into your device settings to allow your location to the I'm Responding app. On an Apple device, you want to make sure that you allow your location. You can see that my option for the Apple device is set to always. On an Android device, you can see there's a series of permissions that are allowed, and one of them says location. Let's first take a look at member tracking. In order to use member tracking, the first thing that needs to happen is one of your agency's administrators needs to go into the administrative functions, the option that says system settings, and then choose the option that says mapping of individuals. On that screen, you then need to check the bubble that says yes and save that setting. Some of the privacy concerns we often hear about are people being afraid that they can be located against their will or that we'll be tracking their data all the time. And that's just not true. We're only going to be tracking your location when you respond for the length of time that you determine. Once your agency administrator has turned on mapping of individuals through the website, in your application, you can then go to the three horizontal lines in the upper left, choose the option that says My Settings, and underneath Mapping Settings, you'll see an option that says Track Me After I Respond. As a default, this function is disabled. You are not being tracked unless you choose to be. When you touch the option that says Disabled, you're going to get this list to choose from. I'm going to choose five minutes. The longest we can track you is 30 minutes with 10 minute reminders. What that means is after 30 minutes, the application will ask you every 10 minutes, do you still want to be tracked? And you have a small window of time to say yes. If you don't confirm that you want to still be tracked, the tracking will stop. I'm going to choose five minutes. There are two different ways to activate member tracking. The first one is by using the application and just using the respond now button and choosing whatever response option you want to select. Keep in mind that the system doesn't know if your response options are a positive response that you're on your way or a negative response that you're unavailable. If you respond, your tracking will be initiated. The other way that you can respond is to go to the three horizontal lines in the upper left corner of your app. Go to the option that says Mapping. And on the mapping screen, you'll see this green button on the right side that says Start Track. The moment you touch that option that says Start Track, tracking will be initiated and your default response, which is set on your member profile, will be activated. So you are responded automatically with your default selection when you hit the option that says Start Track. When you use the green square that says Start Track, you will get this pop-up confirming for you that your default response has been processed. So on the Now Responding screen, your name will then appear. Your chosen car color will appear on the map with your last name underneath it. You'll notice this red square on the right, it now says Stop Track. So whether your tracking was initiated from the Respond Now button or from the green button that said Start Track, you can stop the tracking at any time. Anytime you want to stop the tracking process, just come to the Mapping option in your application and hit the button that says Stop Track and your car will instantly be removed from the maps of all I'm Responding users. Now let's take a look at what member tracking looks like on the map. You'll see that the map is actually going to be following us as we're driving. That's because the blue arrow in the lower right hand corner is selected. The arrow is black until you touch it. When it turns blue, the map will follow you as you drive. So you'll see my car is driving down the road. 
just a little bit behind the blue dot that's displaying my actual location. I'm responding tracking doesn't update your location every second. It's every few seconds or every couple hundred meters that you travel. Right now I'm stuck at a traffic light, so we're going to end this video right now. You can clearly see what road I'm on and what intersection I'm at and which direction I'm pointing. Now we're going to take a look at vehicle tracking. In order to use vehicle tracking, the first thing you need to do is put your vehicles into your I'm responding administrative functions. You're going to do that by going to Manage Apparatus, Add, Edit, Delete Apparatus. As you can see on my list, I have a series of apparatus listed here in blue font. If you don't have any apparatus listed on your system, you can hit the button along the top that says Add New Apparatus. After I clicked on my vehicle in the blue font, it takes me to that vehicle's profile. We're going to be taking a look at Truck 14. The abbreviation that says T14 is what's listed on the icon as it drives down the road. The type of vehicle, here it says Fire. That determines the color of the vehicle. You can see the chart to the right-hand side. Fire vehicles are red, EMS vehicles are blue, police vehicles are gray, and other vehicles are yellow. Let's take a look at these response options that are listed along the left-hand side of the screen. At station on route, canceled on route on scene. It's up to you to choose which options, which response options you want to start or stop the tracking process. So you can see that I have the boxes checked for on route, on scene, and available. On the website, it doesn't actually say tracking, not tracking, tracking, not tracking. I put that on for this video, but you can see that the options that are checked that will start or continue the tracking process. If you choose a response option in the application, such as out of service, because that box is not checked, the tracking will actually stop and the icon will come off of the map. There is an option on the vehicle profile. Stop showing this apparatus on the maps if its status is not changed in 24 hours. So if your agency has a call at 12 noon on Tuesday and you respond with on route, it'll start the tracking. If no one touches with any other response changes in 24 hours, the icon will automatically come off the map at 12 noon on Wednesday. This is a great idea to leave in place if your agency has limited data. Otherwise, your tracking will just be continuing indefinitely and using up your data. If your agency has an unlimited data plan and you're interested in keeping the vehicles tracking 24-7, as many agencies do, feel free to check this bubble to know. That way, when you choose a response option such as on route and put the vehicle on the map, your vehicle will be tracked indefinitely from that point on. I've personally had my iPad track on three separate occasions for upwards of months. I just had to make sure that the battery did not die and I kept constant contact with my Wi-Fi and data plan. You'll notice the login username and password are very, very simple. They don't have the same security requirements that a member login does. When you log into the I'm Responding application on a tablet, you're going to see this screen. It's obviously different than a phone because you have a lot more screen to work with. You'll notice the button over on the right hand side says Response Status. This is the option that you're going to see when you're looking at the I'm Responding app logged in as a vehicle. When you hit the red button that says Response Status, this list of options is going to pop up. As you can see, I've scrolled to the option that says On Route, and I took that list from the other screen and I put it here. So you can see the option for At Station, Not Tracking, On Route, Tracking, Canceled On Route, Not Tracking. I'm going to choose the option that says On Route and hit the red button that says Done. You can see my response status is going to be On Route. I've put the word Tracking here as a reminder what our intention is, although that does not appear on the app and I'm going to hit the option that says Send. You will get this pop-up that says Response Sent Successfully. Within moments, a small icon will pop up on the map. It's a red square because I'm a fire vehicle with my abbreviation T14. If the icon doesn't pop up right away, it's motion activated. Take that iPad or whatever you're holding in your hand and go for a walk. You actually have to travel a distance for the icon to pop up on the map. On a vehicle responding to a call, this isn't a concern, but while you're testing it, just take the iPad and go for a drive or take a little walk. So let's take a quick look at what the vehicle tracking looks like in action. We are now going to be watching the vehicle tracking on my phone, which is why it looks like a member login, but I wanted you to see the vehicle tracking. The arrow, which is indicated in blue in the lower right, is why the map is following us as we drive down the road. Otherwise, you'll just drive right off the map. Just like with the member tracking, you'll see the blue dot gets ahead of us a little bit, and then the vehicle icon catches up to it. 
That's perfectly okay. It's designed to work that way. But you can clearly see what road I'm on and which direction I'm heading. To recap what we looked at at the beginning of the video, vehicle tracking and member tracking are both essentially the same thing. The only real difference is the shape and colors of the icons and the length of time that we can track you. Most members don't need to be tracked for more than 30 minutes, so that's the maximum unless you use the option for 10 minute reminders. There's more color options as you can see here. Vehicles are pretty straightforward. The biggest benefit to logging in as a vehicle is the ability to do 24 hour, seven day a week tracking. If that's what your agency wants to do, make sure you have an unlimited data plan. Common issues that we hear about if you close the I'm Responding application, tracking will stop. You can minimize the application. You can allow your screen to go dark, but please don't just swipe the app closed. Otherwise, tracking will, of course, stop. If you're tracking a vehicle 24-7 and your square icon freezes down the road, that's where the icon was when somebody closed the app. There's almost no way to tell if one of your members closed the application, which would have freezed it, and then reopened the app. All that you're going to see when you look at the application is that it's running, but the icon is frozen five miles down the road. Don't worry about how it happened. Anytime the icon is frozen, just choose a response status that stops the tracking, hit send, then choose a response status that starts the tracking, and hit send. The icon should reappear on the map right where it's supposed to be. Another common issue is very specific to Apple devices such as iPads. If you are going to have multiple iPads to track your multiple vehicles, make sure that each iPad is logged in with a different Apple ID. If they're all using the exact same Apple ID, tracking multiple iPads simultaneously does not work the right way. If you have multiple apps or programs running on your device that utilize your location, at some point your device's bandwidth may be met and the I'm responding tracking may get bumped or it may be impaired. So try to avoid using too many apps or programs that use your location service. Please be sure to subscribe to our page for training videos and weekly updates, and be sure to click the QR code or so that you can have access to the I'm Responding Insider anytime. If you have any questions, please contact our support team.